In this video, we're going to go through the print line calibration for the new ZE511 and 521 print engine. To do that, we're going to utilize this outboard cam system for balance, print line adjustment, or fore aft adjustment, and skew adjustment. So the balance screw adjusts, if this is my plat roller and this is my print head, it adjusts the balance of the print head to the plat roller. The skew adjustment, platen to print head, adjusts this methodology or movement of the head. And the fore aft adjustment is certainly is just that. So we're gonna take a look at those. To do that, I'm gonna use a T9 torque and a standard screwdriver. When you open the door of the printer, the printer goes into pause automatically. You have to take that off of pause. But to invoke the print head test, you use the pause button. Pause starts with P, print head starts with P. That's an easy way to remember it. Hold the pause button down, turn that on. I wait for the Zebra logo to come up in the screen. And once that comes up, then I release my finger and you will see that this will start to print a label design that's designed specifically for this task. So in this print head label, print head test label, I have this black bar and that's to help me look at the balance. I have a bunch of small parallel lines up here that are right near the edge of the label. Those will help me with skew and the overall quality will help me with fore aft adjustment. So now that I have this printer doing this and, and, and going forward with that design, since I need to get inside here, I'm gonna turn off that door switch and I do that with a file that was designed or a command that was designed by Zebra to override the door switch. So I'm gonna utilize my USB host port and I am going to go into and look at the files that I have stored on this printer. Menu, file folder, USB, print from USB. And I have a file on here called door sensor no, I believe. Door sensor no. I'm going to select that file and say go to the printer. So now that that's done, I can open and close my door without the, the printer pausing. So when I take this off pause, you can see that it goes, when I open and close the door, I'm not pausing. So now, I have found it easiest to lower my darkness setting and make this bar not a dark black bar, but a lot of, like a mottled gray bar. And I do that by going into the menu, the printer menu, the print quality, go to darkness. I'm gonna lower this down to four. And it, that's going to create this printing, not as a dark bar, but as a mottled gray bar. So when I take this off pause, you'll see what it looks like now. And that enables me to more easily adjust the balance. So when I go into my printer here, I'm going to take my T9 torque and I'm going to undo two locking screws. This locking screw and this locking screw. And now I have the ability to adjust these. When I adjust balance, skew, and print line, less is more, make small adjustments. In fact, I would encourage you to take a Sharpie and put a mark where your starting point was at each of those screws, because you don't have to adjust much. But now when I turn, when I open this, and I have this printing, and it'll print X amount of labels, and then it'll pause on its own. So I expect it to pause here shortly, and then I have to tell it to print another set. So now I can go in here and I can turn this one way or the other and I will see my balance adjust on that gray modeled bar. So if I take it off balance, you can see it's starting to, starting to look bad on one side or the other. And now I want to put it kind of in the middle. So I want it to look even across there. Then I could take this one and I could adjust the skew line. So I would look at these parallel lines here and where they line up to the edge of the label. And as I adjust that one way or the other, I'll see those lines go off. And the print line adjustment, I'll just see my media, the print quality will just go very poor very quickly. And then you'll notice that you'll go too far one way and too far the other way. So by adjusting each of those, then you have the ability to do that. Okay. 
Now that I have that set the way I like it, come back in here and tighten these screws back down to lock it in place. I can come in, go back into my menu, my printer, print quality, darkness, bring this back up to 15 was looking pretty good. So we'll leave it at 15. Now we'll take a look at it. We see the quality looks good. Now, when you do the print head test, it causes five separate print head tests to come just at different speeds. So when I'm in pause, if I hit and release cancel, it says one job cleared, and I take it off pause, I'm doing the same test, I'm just doing it at a different speed. So you have to put it in pause and hold the cancel key down until it comes back, it says cancel all, all print jobs canceled. Now when I take it off pause, there's no more test prints left in there. Door still doesn't cause the printer to go into pause. To eliminate that, you simply cycle power. And in cycling power, it'll go back to operating as normal. So when this boots up, I'll be able to show you that I can open the door now and the printer will indeed go back into pause like it normally operates. I hope that helps you. Uh, do remember this is something that should not have to be done very often, but on the occasion it does, I hope this helps get you through that process. Thank you so much.